Hello people of the interwebs. Welcome back to another one of my unboxing videos. And as you can see, this time it's going to be for the very exciting, for me anyway, uh, Tokidoki Cherry Blossom Metallico series. These were just released at San Diego Comic Con and then on their website a couple days later. And I am extremely excited to open it and I'm hoping to get the chase because it looks really pretty. I'll show you what the series is supposed to look like. I got two cases and before I get into those, I'm going to show you guys these because I got these. So this is the online exclusive and let me unbox this. Um, and then the other one is this uh, purse charm that I got. And usually what I do with the purse charms is I take them all out of the box and I take the chain off and um, just display it as a regular unicorn. So here is a uh, Flamenca as the online exclusive. It is really pretty. I'm not actually a big fan of the original of this, but I love the neon coloring. I love the like little bit of, there's a jewel right there. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus better. Come on camera. Technical difficulties y'all. Anyway, it's focusing over here. But yeah, so here it is. There's a silver swan over the eye. It is completely translucent, which I love. It's got a little bit of white at the bottom here, some white at the tips on this side. But like, this is much prettier than the original to me. So I, that's why I, oh, and look, the, uh, the mane is separated. Not always the case with all of them. But I thought this was prettier, so I picked this one up. And then I'm gonna put that right there. Pardon the sound of boxes. There's probably going to be a lot of them. Um, and I do keep all my boxes for the online exclusives and purse charms and things. FYI. Okay, so this is for the Hanako purse charm, which if you've seen Hanako, she's pretty by herself, but this is really pretty. So it's translucent, but it feels, yeah, like it's completely like full plastic. It's It doesn't feel empty like this one. And she's got a different coloring. It looks like it goes from like a yellowy peachy color. Let me see if I can get it to focus again. Yeah, it goes from a yellowy peachy color down to just a full on pink. Let me, let me see if I can, there we go, much better if you guys can see it. So that's what that looks like. And then it's got the cherry blossoms on her and then the cherry blossoms in her hair and I might be wrong about this because it's been a while since I've seen one but I think there's more cherry blossoms in this one's hair than there is and it's sorry I'm, I'm distracted um and it's more matte like down here it's matte here it's a little bit more shiny but there's texture differences which I, I personally appreciate but yeah for anybody who doesn't know you can literally just take these do that like they are screw-ins and I keep all these. So in case I ever sell or trade these, or if I do want to use them as a purse charm, I don't like the idea of these getting banged around and getting dirty. So that's why I'd rather just display them. But um, I keep these all in a box. So in case I ever want to do that or anything like that, they will uh, just put them back on. They're all the same and um, you can do that. And if you can see, like, especially with this one, some of them, if they're matte, you can see the hole. This one, you really can't see it. And she'll just display really pretty like that. So anyway, I'm going to put that, I'm going to put these two off to the side and we're going to dive into the case. I am going to refocus my camera a little bit because it is being a bit wonky. There we go. Okay. So we have these two cases. Everybody cross your fingers that I at least get one chase and let me show you what they all are supposed to look like. So here is the series. There is five of them and then a chase. So we will see if I get them and uh, hopefully it will work out because I really, really want this, but I also love the coloring of this one, so we'll see. Anyway, so I'm gonna put one off to the side because there's gonna not be enough space camera-wise, so I'm just gonna put that off to the side. I'm gonna open this one, and as always, the case is really pretty, and there's eight to a case for anybody who's wondering, so I'm gonna put that off to the side and I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see it. So I'm gonna start in the middle of the box. Here we go. This is the first one. My camera is just having not the greatest time focusing. Let's see, do they have a thumb pusher? No, it doesn't seem like it. I don't see it. I don't feel one. Okay, so 
There's what it's supposed to look like, and here we go. I'm gonna try to run through these fairly quickly because there are 16 of them, two cases. So I don't want this video to be three hours long. So there's that one. Okay, so this is the color variant Yoshino. And it looks like everything is basically the same in terms of the shape of her, but the color is different, which honestly is really pretty. Um, I really hope they don't make a 10 inch one of this because I'm really gonna want it because it's a very pretty color. Um, there's a sort of um, uh, pearlescence to the blue. And I don't know if this is gonna be the case with all of them, but the paint is kind of sticky, which I'm not loving. But um, that's what she looks like. The comb up here is silver instead of, I think there's gold and there's variations. But that's what the headpiece looks like. I love this coloring. It's so pretty. It goes from a white to like a bluey purple. And you can sort of see the pearlescence here and here. So super pretty. Love that. And it does come with the headpiece protector, which is very smart. Oh, and I have most of the regular cherry blossoms off to the side. So if we get any that look like the originals, I will show you guys in comparison so you can see the color difference. And hopefully my camera will be able to pick up the details. For anybody who wants to see this, I'll give you a quick flash. This is what the insert looks like. And there we go. First one out and first dupe. Um, and yeah, this paint's sticky too, you guys. I don't, I don't know if it stays out of the packaging. It will dry up a little bit better, but I'm not, I'm not thrilled with sticky paint. But anyway, okay. Yeah, when I saw these, I had to have them because they looked so pretty. And I'm of all of the series, my favorite tends to be the metallical ones just because they're more translucent, they're more glittery, just, just prettier. This one's really lightweight. And also, side note, look at how ridiculously huge the bag is. Like, hello. Anyway, so let me, here we go. Let's see who this is. Okay, so this one is Ichio and... This, I think, is a variation of previous series that they've had before, not two of one. Um, so this is from series one, and there was, an, I think, an online exclusive of this and then in the original, um, but really pretty. Again, the the Metallico in these is seems to be more of a pearlescence and a lot of glitter. There, This is solid and full glitter, which is really pretty. You guys can't see it through the camera, but up close, it is really pretty. Um, if anyone's a Simply Neological fan, it is most definitely hollow. So you can see a lot of the rainbows. Again, not as well here in the camera, but you can see it here in person. And the hair is pink and it's got the pearlescence to it. And the whole body is yellow and glittery. It's really pretty. I like this one a lot. So there's that one. Next one, what do we have? giant bag that opens to reveal okay so this one is Haru and Harami Harumi um so yeah there's a there's an original of this that I don't have I think I brought my wrong set I thought these would all be based on whatever doesn't matter um these are all looks like metallicos of the original one this is so cute look at the okay look at the little tilted crown on the baby so I'm not usually a fan of the Bambino ones because it just looks too cluttered back here. But look at the little heart on the face. Got a little flower in the hair. And there is a color variation. Like you can, if, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but this is darker pink. This is lighter pink. Same with the tails. Super cute. And this one feels like it's solid body, uh, empty head. I'm not quite sure, but really, really pretty coloring, you guys. And again, pearlescence in the hair. Um, so there we go. Next one. Another giant bag. 
which will reveal. Where's the tear strip? There it is. Okay. Okay, so here is another double. I'm going to put that off to the side. Okay, so this is another one. This is Fubuki, um, and I they think there's three variations. I'm not sure there might be a fourth of this. Um, so this one, really pretty. So it's clear, but again, the glitter in here is very much hollow. It's different colors. I don't know if it comes across in the camera, probably not the best, but you can sort of see the effect a little bit. And it's, it's so pretty. This one might be my, mm, I don't know. Yoshino's pretty, pretty too. Okay, whatever. All right. Um, on the upside, Yoshino seems to be the only one that's got that sticky paint thing going on. None of the rest of these have that. So that's really awesome. But yeah, you can sort of see some of the coloring of the glitter in her here. And then you've got a pearlescent white tail, pearlescent pink hair. Uh, the glitter in this one is so pretty because it's clear and not yellow or pink. Um, although the glitter in this one is just pink and silver, like there's no color variation. But because this one's clear, you can really see the color in the glitter, which is neat. So very much like that one. Next one. You guys should see the mess that I'm making here off to the side all these empty boxes okay okay so this one is uh sakurako or sakurako i'm not quite sure how to say it but again very pretty pink um pearlescent this is darker pink the the whole coloring of this one is darker than the original but really pretty black hair she's got two hair pins coming out i love i don't know why but this just looks really pretty to me the pink tops and the white uh, headdress. And then the tail and the bottoms of the hooves are red. Really pretty. The coloring scheme for all of this is just really nice. So how cool is this? So in essence, we have gotten the entire series just here with dupes. So this last one is either another dupe or this is the chase. And I'm not sure, but then we have a second case. So let's open it up and see what happens. And we have, we have a dupe. Okay. So put that there. Um, and I'm going to move this case off to the side and I'm going to bring this case in. Cross your fingers that one of these in this case is a chase, you guys, because I really, really want that Ichio, Ichio color variant. It looks really pretty. It's like a minty green if you haven't seen it in the picture. Well, in the pictures of it. So this, I can already tell, is a Yoshino because I can feel the, yeah, I can feel the headdress. And I'm actually not even going to, yeah, see, it's just this one. This one's sticky too. Um, I'll see if I can wait a little bit to see if the paint stops being sticky. Come on, Chase. I'm chasing you. Dupe, very pretty. Oh, wait. I'm trying to get my finger in there. This is what I do to boxes. So this is why when I trade or sell with people and they ask me if I have the boxes, uh-uh. Destroy it. Another dupe. So I've got four of these now. Oh, don't fall over. I'm trying to set you guys up properly. Okay. Next. There we go. And another one of these. Come on, Chase. And there's another two. It's this one. So we've got four of those and four of those. Next one here. And we have 
have another dupe, obviously. And I've got two more left in here. So if one of these isn't the chase, I'm going to be very sadness. Yes, I know that's terrible English. We have another dupe. And this one is my last one. So this is either a chase or it is a dupe. Everybody cross your fingers and hope. Wow, that poor pair of Nope, no chase, just a dupe. So let me take you guys down so you can see all of what I got that I'm very sad about. You can kind of see them up close. But uh, out of two cases, no chase, just the full set and then some. So a little bit disappointed. And again, for anybody who is curious, this is what it looks like. And it's a metallic-y uh, pearlescent mint green. So um, thanks for coming along and watching this with me. I, I'm a little bit bummed. But hopefully you enjoyed watching the video and getting to see all these up close. And if you are buying a case of these, I wish you luck in trying to get the chase because I didn't. But I do want other people to. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!